Hi guys, welcome to the channel, Ron's Keto Cafe, and I'm Ron. Well, if you're new, welcome, and if you're a returning member, welcome back. And if you're a new member, could you please share, like, and smash that subscribe button, it definitely helps the channel grow. And for all you new members that recently joined the channel, thank you so much. And uh, don't, oh, by the way, don't forget to uh, give me a thumbs up below the video, because that also helps. Well, today marks the end of week 168. We didn't have a very good week. We gained about three or four pounds, but it's like, again, it's no big deal. It's all part of life, and life is about the journey. So I would encourage you not to give up. I'm certainly not going to give up. Uh, we had a very good week as far as walking goes. I've been out there walking every day now. Today was no exception. Today is Sunday. It is also uh, November 5th already. My goodness, hey, what time is flying right by? Did you remember to set your clocks uh, back last night? I forgot all about it last night. Woke up and I think it was, uh, you know, an hour ahead of time and it was actually an hour less. So anyways, uh, yeah, so what did we do this week? Well, we did the charity Friday night. Uh, we had a little bad week on the pull tabs Friday night, but that's just part of it. And uh, Donna didn't win anything, and then she had another good crowd. The closest she came to winning something, she needed 57 for $400, and it was the next number showing after somebody just won. And she got in for quite a while for that. And nobody won the progressive amount uh, Friday night, so the next time we start up again after the church fair, um, they'll they, be high in numbers, so anybody can win the 2000 or 3000 and this coming Friday and Saturday, we got the church fair uh, coming up. I'm going to be volunteering both days and possibly uh, tomorrow, which is Monday. I'll, uh, I'll probably be doing some work in the kitchen for the uh, fair. And uh, during the fair itself, I'm going to be uh, probably just collecting money from people when they buy stuff. But yeah, so speaking of church fairs, so uh, yesterday, which is Friday and Saturday this past week, they had St. Anna's church fair. And uh, Donna and I both won something. I'm gonna just pause the video for a minute and go show you what I won, and I'll tell you what Donna won. Well, this is what I won. I won a very nice, very very soft, nice uh, Vienna Bradley, yeah, Vienna Bradley uh, uh, blanket. It's like a throwaway. It's very soft and cuddly. Somebody was saying this would be good for my cat, but I don't think so. I think I'm gonna keep it. I'm not really sure. Might even wind up giving it to the parish for Friday night for the fair, but be that as it may, if I decide to keep it, then I'll uh, have it for years to come. So yeah, so I'm gonna put it on the bed. This was the blanket that I won, and this was the price tag, $60. It only cost me $10 for the chance. Check that out, guys, huh? So, yeah. So, this is called a Vera Bradley Blanket. And that was the number I won on, number 67. They had them all listed with numbers. And what you do is it costs you $10, and they give you a pile of chances, and you rip them off. And then you put it in whatever bucket you think that you might like a prize. And then Donna ended up winning a nice jewelry box. And, uh, yeah, I can't believe it. I goes, that's two years, two years in a row that I had, had won something. And it goes, oh, my gosh. So, I mean, how cool is that, guys, right? So, uh, yeah. So, uh, I mean, I'm happy. And, uh, you know, God is good. And uh, so, we, we, oh, yeah. And then also in the meal came in my new wave uh, uh, infusion. Uh, uh, I'll have the information. I can't think of the proper name. But anyways, it's a new wave cooking uh, um electric cooking thing for this for this stove top so get in other words so instead of using a burner you use it uh, on the countertop and this heats up to 500 degrees and as low as setting is 100 degrees and, and anything in, in between and it came with a nice paint pan that's uh, a cast iron not cast iron but it's got a steel on the bottom and that uh, anything that's that's magnetized on the bottom works well with this particular gadget that I bought so I have a photograph above the timeline because today I'm filming in front of the green screen and, uh, you know, I'm looking forward to filming you with that and doing some live video cooking for you guys. And I did I did do the unboxing, and that unboxing will be in the, in the timeline up top above my head. So just don't forget to click on that video. And uh, I'll have a, a whole new series of videos coming with that. And, uh, yeah, and then what else we got going on? Well, we did a lot of walking this week. We're currently doing a stepping walking challenge. My friend Steffi from the Incredible Shrinking Steffi. And if I can figure this out, she'll, her link will be up there above the timeline somewhere. And, and uh, also, um, 
Yeah, that's going really well. And like I said, I had a game this week. I, you know, it is what it is. You know, here's the deal. You know, people know me, know who I am. I'm Ron from, from Lemister. And, uh, you know, I've, I've lost well over 100 pounds since the start of my journey, really. And, you know, I'm struggling right now, you know. You know, I'm still dealing with depression, even though a lot of it's gone away. And, uh, you know, life events come around. You know, again, we got a function coming up Tuesday at Applebee's. We got the church fair. We went yesterday at the church fair. And we had, I had regular American food there, you know. And a lot of it's got carbs and calories. And then I make bad food choices. Because, I, again, I go grocery shopping and I see something I haven't had in a while. And I want it. Next thing I know, I'm eating more than what I should be eating. And so we're going to get back on track this week. You know, we've, you know, we've uh, going to try to, when they go to Applebee's on Tuesday, I'm going to get a steak and an egg or something like that. Or a steak and a, instead of having a baked potato. I would just have a you know a healthy green like uh, broccoli or something like that, but uh, yeah and uh, you know you know it's it, you know life is a journey and I would encourage each and one each and every one of you to um, you know don't give up and just keep going with it because you know eventually you will get there with the weight loss. Now I talked to one of my friends there on Friday night. Yeah, both girls were there at Bingo Parish, and uh, she had gotten weight loss surgery this last couple of weeks ago. She's down 22 pounds already, so I'm really proud of her. She's watching the channel. I'm not going to mention your name because I don't want to embarrass you or anything like that. But um, you know, I'm there if you need me. If you get a hold of me, if you're looking for somebody to walk with, I'm here. We live locally. We can go walking together, and uh, you know, I would encourage you to take a lot of photographs of your journey before you started your weight loss, because you'll be happy that you did once you reach your goal weight. And uh, my goal weight's always been 180 pounds. That's never going to change. Currently, I'm weighing around 235 pounds there. You know, and yeah, it, it, it's really hard. Man, once you get the weight off, it's, it's hard to keep it off. So you, you know, it. It's not just a question of losing weight, it's a question of just keeping it off and maintaining it. And, uh, you know, again, we've we got uh, something called uh, Tom Turkey coming up pretty soon. I'm going to try to just keep it simple that day. And I he took so many blown out carbs and uh, in between days and I'm not doing anything. I'm going to still continue doing cooking videos. And uh, and that. speaking of that, is I, I really didn't think I'd like doing live videos, but I actually enjoy doing live videos now. I mean, sometimes, like every other morning, I've been signing in live and I've been doing live videos and just talking, sometimes cooking breakfasts or whatever. And I enjoy that. So, you know, if, if there's something that you think it might be interesting to coming along with the channel, let me know. I'm always looking for a guest. You know, we can pick a designated day together and we can just talk whatever day you want to talk, whatever day you're available. We can, you know, spend a half an hour together and invite other people into our live chat and just talk. We don't have to cook anything or anything like that, but if, if that's what you're interested in, you know, I'm, I'm open for that idea too. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to cook some nice recipes with that new gadget that I bought. And I apologize, Anne Marie, if you're watching my video about the other day when I went live. But what happened was I was trying to, I had too many browsers open. That's why you kept hearing the echo. And the other thing was every time I kept shutting it off and trying to sign it back in, uh, what happened was, um, I, 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 I was trying to flip the camera around instead of holding it straight out like that. And I don't know if there's a way in StreamYard that you could flip the video around to, to where to where I'm actually pointing the camera that way instead of trying to do it the reverse way, you know? So that was some issues I had with StreamYard, but maybe you can on a paid version, but uh, on the free version, I don't know. If the, I'm gonna have to do some more StreamYard videos and uh, see what happens. And, yeah, and again, I've been walking at the usual places this week, the Doyle Estate, the, uh, did some road video and some other, you know, the usual places that I go walking and I just continue to check along. And uh, again, there, I can't thank everybody enough for following me along with my weight loss journey and stuff like that. Be watching for some of those videos there with the new cooking uh, gadget that I have. Uh, I'm going to be launching another new channel for cooking, but it's, it, instead of being uh, you know, isolated and just keto meals, it'll be low carb weight loss meals. I haven't had the channel name yet, but I'm not sure if I want to use that channel name or another one. I haven't got any subscribers on it right now, but. Before I actually launch the channel there, I'm gonna have about 30 videos and put up and then I'll, I'll continue with that path there, putting up about uh, 10 or 15 videos at a time. And may, I may talk over some of it and I may not talk over some of it. I'm still trying to see about getting a high end camera angle. I saw a tripod that goes up like this with a bracket. You could put the camera dead center and, and you can spread it out a little bit on the uh, tripod. The problem with those other two uh, 
Oh, we had tripod uh, uh, bars that I bought. My, my, my tripods flop over and you need to put a counterweight on it. And with the cat there, it's not a you know, kosher thing. And uh, so, yeah, so I got that going on. And uh, speaking of school, which we haven't talked about yet, uh, yeah, yeah, Lane called me up this week. I was supposed to go on November 1st uh, you know, for a council meeting. And uh, she asked me to take the online pretest for math and English to see what my level of education was. And I hadn't done that yet. So I went online the other day just to go see what it was about. And I have to read a, maybe a paragraph or two of each one. And then I got to take pretest afterwards on English and algebra and everything. I don't think I could pass those tests there, guys. I, my level of comprehension is not that great at my age. And I always struggle with that. So I'm, I'm, so now I'm having second thoughts about it. So I was talking to some people Friday night and they kept saying, Ron, instead of worrying about getting a degree, why don't you just go to um, Monty Tech, which is a vocational regional school. And what they, it's a trade school, you know, you know and I can, le I can learn photography and video there without the degree. And I also if I want, and I realized too now that they offer adult uh, culinary, so I want to learn some culinary cooking. So I'm thinking about say the hell with all the other school and just go over there for culinary school. Now I know how to cook and everything, but they might be able to teach me some different skills that I don't know how to do, you know? You, you know, so that, that, that's always a possibility for me, you know? And I don't know whether my next, God's gonna present my next opportunity, but that's probably the way I'm gonna go, you, you know? And then I can just break away from those schools. And not only that, it's in the next town over. So it's, it's a lot, it's, it's not as extensive uh, driving uh, like I was going to Gardner back and forth. Gardner, it's not that bad, but I mean, it's gonna eat up a lot of miles on my car because I'd have to go to school every day, Monday through Friday. And, uh, you know, that's a lot of schooling for, for me, somebody my age bracket, that when I just can't get it anyways, I'm the type of person that, you know, you can sit me in front of a computer program and you can say, Ron, you got 20 minutes to figure this out. Here's the computer, here's the program, and I, want, I need you to do this. And, and by the way, you're not gonna go into YouTube and you're not gonna get, go through your, uh, a manual or anything like that. And I can figure it out. But if you say, Ron, here's the booklet, I need you to look at your booklet and that there and then, then go into the program. I, I would be totally lost, you know? So uh, uh, that's, I don't, they, they got a specific word for that, but that, and, and, uh, if you know in the show more, let me know in the show more if you know what that word is. I think it begins with a K or something like that. And uh, I, that's how I learn. I learn and that's how I've always learned when I do videos and YouTube and everything like that. I, I mean, I, I never knew on YouTube whether or not I'd want to be, uh, YouTube, what the heck is YouTube, you know? But, uh, I'm glad I, I'm glad I did because you know you know it made me realize that uh, there's a need for what I'm doing. A lot of people are just curious on how I lost my weight and how I'm able to keep it off. Again, we struggle week to week, but we, you know we we never we don't give up, and we're just gonna keep on going with it. So it, so we ended week 168. Again, we uh we we 235 pounds this morning, and uh, we we had a little bit of a gain, but like, again, it's not a big deal. And uh, we're just going to move on. I uh, pray for my sister. She's going through hell with her daughter right now. She's, I'm not going to get into details, but, um, you, you know, I just keep her in the prayers. And uh, <clears throat> the other thing, if I could figure out how uh, how to do a game night, would you be interested in doing a game night? Like we could designate a certain night, like uh, away from what Anne Marie does. I was thinking about maybe Saturday night. I can't do Friday because I volunteer with the parish on Friday. But I can do any other night on that, and uh, of course we're going to continue with the live cooking shows in the afternoon. We'll probably in, do some breakfasts for you with the new device that I have, and uh, then I'm going to be making a chicken parmesan this week with that. That's probably going to be one of my first recipes, and uh, maybe maybe we'll do out fry out some eggs together, and, and uh, see how that goes. And uh, continue on with the channel, and continue on with the videos. So I guess that's about all I got to say this week. Uh, again, on the next video that I do, I'll show you Donna's jewelry box that she won there. Uh, she, like I said, that's expensive blanket. I didn't realize it was that expensive. But anyways, I'll talk to you guys later. You guys have a fantastic week. Be watching for all those videos and let me know in the show more and everything. If, whatever, if you want to join in on the live channels and want to come in and be a guest on a weekly guest or co-host with me. And, um, you know, we'll continue on. But anyways, have a great week, anybody, everybody. I love you guys. Stay safe, stay healthy, stay vigilant. Remember, I love you. God love you. Have an amazing day.